Hey kids, want to see a CPU bug in action? This is an IBM PC 5160 connected to an expansion unit, a 5161, which has my monochrome monitor in it, and, sorry, my monochrome adapter and my color adapter. This is what the setup I use to write code uh, over here and step through and debug it on my graphics output over here. And we are testing a decompression routine that uh, pulls some fancy tricks to, uh, well, to run at a relatively decent clip. Hi, Mom. So, this decompression routine will decompress a picture to the screen. I'm going to go ahead and run it now and stop at the point where it decompresses. Now, this almost, this is a nice picture of the shuttle, but look, there's something going wrong here. That's not quite right. Let's abort and do it again. Now that's correct. Okay. Now let's abort and do it again. Oh, that's not right at all. So what's going on? Is it a bug in the code? Well, not quite. Here's the problem. On the 8086 through the 8286, when you use two overrides, I have, uh, sorry, two prefixes. I have both an ES override and a rep for this move SB. If an interrupt occurs, when the interrupt finishes, only the most recent prefix is still honored. So what's happening here is that for some of this decompression, these runs of crap, it's, it's still copying the same amount because at, at the end of the interrupt, the rep is still valid. But since the ES override is gone, it's pulling data from the wrong place. You can see this is the original notation here by uh, Peter Ferry. Uh, Peter and I are working on uh, this decompression code together. Um, so instead of, so pull from ESSI and go to ESDI. And uh, that's why this is necessary. So there are two ways to fix this. The first one is to wrap your code with uh, disabling interrupts so that you don't have this bug. The second way, unfortunately, is to rewrite the code. <clears throat> the code isn't buggy, the CPU is. But hey, if you want a pretty shuttle, you're going to have to fix that code. So, um, I mean, there's, okay, there's a third way, there's a workaround. If you wanted to switch these prefixes so that the, this is honored but the rep isn't, then at the end of the interrupt, it will go down to the next line, and then you could put something in here like, uh, you know, uh, jump if CX is zero, which means that the rep completed, uh, move on, otherwise uh, loop back and keep going. That's a workaround, but that would really slow this code down. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, talk with Peter, and we'll probably have to figure out a way to get rid of the segment override, rearrange some registers, or whatever. Anyway, CPU bugs in action.